All right, um, let me just go ahead. Okay, so we're gonna learn how to calculate risk on the on the reef. Um, so um, this is step in this. Okay, let's say you see this setup you wanna sell. You wanna sell right at current price. Okay, you wanna sell right here. All you are gonna do is instead of selling right away, you are going to try as see if you are going to set a limit order. Okay, so at the top right corner here, we have two icons, the first one, the first icon, and then the second icon, which is like a box, um, a rectangle. The first one is round, the second one is like a rectangle, okay? So you click on the first one on the right, the rectangle, it brings the, buy and sell on your screen okay if you click it it, it it puts it off if you click it again it brings it brings it up okay now if you want to calculate your risk what you're going to do is you're going to click the icon that is round okay the red and blue icon that is round okay um, i can't point the arrow right on, on it but um i hope you guys can see the icon i'm talking about on the right top corner there is two icons one is rectangle and one is the left one is round okay the rectangle is what will bring the buy and sell on the screen and then the round one is what will bring the limit um order as you can see what i'm moving the buy limit or sell limit okay if it's above price, it will be a buy limit. If it's below price, it will be a sell limit. So that one, you can get this line here, the limit order line by clicking the round icon. Okay, so once you click the round icon, you pull it to where price is, okay. Okay, and then you leave it there because that's where you want to enter. We are just using the limit order to calculate. So after pulling it, they leave it there. Now at the bottom of the screen, you see stop loss. You also see TP. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the stop loss. Okay. Once you click on the stop loss, another line will pop up. So the stop loss line will pop up. Once the stop loss line pop up, push it to where you want to place your stop loss. Let's say you want to place your stop loss here. Okay, you want to place your stop loss here. Now, this stop loss, you can see the amount on it's minus $31. It means if you enter right now with 0 0.2 loss size, because the loss size is 0 0.2. If you enter right now here, then place stop loss here. Let's say you want to place stop loss here. Then place stop loss here. The amount you'll be risking is $20. So let's say you want to risk $10. So this is common sense, common common math. Okay, 0 0.2 lot size is giving you $20. So come here and just edit. Okay, edit the lot size to 0 0.1. And it will divide so now we have look at the stop loss now it's ten dollar so it means if we enter right here our current price and place stop loss here it means you'll be losing ten dollars if it goes against us then you can now click on the tp so that the green button will show up let's say you want to take tp here so it means if the trade wins you're going to have 2.5 hour okay so now we know that if you click sell right now, which is 0 0.1, well, let me do that, let me sell. This is a demo for teaching purposes. So I've sold right now. So if I place my stop loss, oh, come on. If I place my stop loss here, yeah, you can see that it's worth $10. Okay. 
can say ten dollar. And if I place my TP here, it means I'll be getting like two point six or two point five R. So that's how you can easily and quickly calculate your lot size. This this is for market execution. If you want to do a buy limit, it's 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 not different. It's not different. Let's say you want to. Let's say you want to buy from maybe um this breaker block and price retains you want to buy from there this is within like i showed you earlier you click the round icon at the top right side okay the round icon and it will give you the the limit order so place it here let's say you want to buy from here now after that you click this the stop loss icon down there and it will give you this red line let's say you want to place some stop loss here so it means if you if this limit order is to be activated with 0 0.5 lot size it means you'll be risking what five five dollar let's say if you are placing your stop loss here five dollar but let's say you want to risk ten dollar so what are you going to do you are going to increase the lot size by another 0 0.5 so instead of 0 0.5 it will be what one lot size so just edit it up one day tap on an empty space on the screen and then boom you have your one lot size there you have ten dollar risk there okay and then since this is a limit order you go ahead and complete it by clicking this arrow here then you click that arrow you place the limit order so if this is to be activated later on you know that it's just ten dollar on, on it okay so whether market for for limit order you actually place the order but if you want to do market execution you just use the limit for calculation and then you go back and do market execution let's say you want to buy right here at where prices okay so what i'm going to do um the round icon the red and blue icon that is round you click on it to bring the limit order place it at where price is currently leave it there so oh, come on once you place it there leave it there then come down here click on the stop loss to give you another line which is just oh come on click on the stop loss it will give you another line which is the stop loss oh come on which is the stop loss line let's say you want to place our stop loss here when we buy so oh let's say here now you can see that if you are to execute right now here we stop loss here it means if you lose you're going to be losing eight dollars okay but let's say you want to be risking ten dollar so you have to play around with the with the with the lot size so here is one you can do 1.1 1 1.1 1. 1. 1 lot size you click on an empty space it changes to 8.8 .8. still not up to the amount you want to risk let's go to 1.2 9.6 dollar still not up to the amount you want to risk so let's go for 1.3 lot size and now boom we have 10 ten dollar risk so if you're entering right here a current price stop loss here with 1.3 loss size it means you're risking ten dollar so you can get rid of it and just execute to 1.3 okay and then place stop loss there and now you have ten dollar risk okay so you use the limit order to calculate either market execution or actual limit order you still use the limit order and then you play around it with the lot size to get the actual amount you want to risk okay now this is for um education purpose i'm not saying you should buy <laughs> i'm not saying you should buy this then okay this for illustration purpose okay so um you can do it for any pair 51 is minimum so you you can always start with the minimum lot size okay so minimum loss size for 51 is 0 0.005, 0 0.005. Okay. 
so now let's say we want to sell right now and let's say we want to sell in place let's say we want to sell our resistance here and let's say you want to place stop loss around here okay around this line so we're going to use the limit um order we are not going to place limits order. this is just for calculation after the calculation we will do market execution so let's say you want to execute right here at current price and you want to place stop loss at this red line so what you're going to do is come down there see down here the stop loss is there click on it to give you another line to pull it to where you want to place stop loss let's see here so it means if you place a market execution right now with a loss size of 0 0.005 it means we'll be losing 6.7 dollar if the trade get goes against us let's say you want to risk 10 10 dollar so you increase the loss size a little bit 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 is giving us 10.66 dollar that is also um a little bit above what you want to risk so you can go for 0 0.7 lot size yeah so maybe you now have um 9.5 so not right now um sometimes by that by the time you are done with your calculation market would have moved from where it is so adjust the line to current price so if we enter here that will be seven dollar so we just adjust um 0 0.9 will give us 9.2 dollar so we can still adjust and go 0 0.01 so here is giving us roughly 10.3 dollar okay so you can get rid of everything and then execute 0 0.01 then now you can place your stop loss um there for ten ten dollar yeah sometimes it may be ten point one ten point two is fine um so yeah that's how you do it very very easy this this not difficult if you have any questions you can ask guys If you have any question you can ask if not then um that's how i do i do um calculate my risk and it's very easy to calculate your risk okay so if you don't have any questions like i said i'm done um i recorded it i hope everything looks great i'll share it on the screen um on the page for you guys to rewatch. So, bye guys.